Rev your engines, gear heads, because today we're shifting gears and heading into the fast lane of electric vehicles, EVs. But buckle up, because this video isn't just about the thrill ride of innovation, it's a cautionary tale about the potential pitfalls on the road to a greener future. We're diving deep into the recent bankruptcy of Fisker, an American EV company whose electric dreams have come to a screeching halt. In June 2024, a jolt of shock reverberated through the EV industry. Fisker, a company brimming with ambition and promising a revolutionary take on electric mobility, filed for bankruptcy. This unexpected turn of events left a trail of unanswered questions and shattered confidence. What happened to Fisker, the company that once aimed to be a major force in the EV market? To understand Fisker's downfall, we need to rewind and examine the road they were traveling. Fisker's vision was audacious to challenge established automakers with a lineup of stylish, high-performance EVs. Their flagship, the Fisker Ocean SUV, promised a blend of luxury, sustainability, and cutting-edge technology. But somewhere along the production line, things started to sputter. Fisker fell short of their ambitious 2023 production targets, those gleaming factory floors we saw earlier. They became a stark reminder of unmet expectations, with empty spaces where cars should have been and unsold inventory accumulating in the lot. This lack of sales translated into a financial black hole, a pit stop Fisker simply couldn't navigate. Let's delve deeper into the financial storm that brewed within Fisker. Analysts point to several factors that might have contributed to their downfall. Perhaps they were overly optimistic about market demand for their EVs. Maybe their pricing strategy wasn't competitive enough in a rapidly evolving landscape. Additionally, the global chip shortage that has plagued the entire auto industry undoubtedly play a role in their production woes. These factors combined created a perfect storm, pushing Fisker to the brink. But amidst the financial turmoil, a glimmer of hope remains for Fisker's employees. The company has assured its workforce that they will continue to receive salaries while the bankruptcy process unfolds. However, the long-term fate of Fisker's electric ambitions hangs in the balance. Will they be able to restructure, overcome these challenges, and get back on track? Only time will tell. The story of Fisker's bankruptcy serves as a stark reminder that innovation, while exciting, needs to be coupled with sound business practices. Disrupting an industry like automotive is no easy feat. It requires a strategic roadmap, a clear understanding of market demands, and the financial muscle to navigate unforeseen roadblocks. Fisker's dream of becoming an EV game changer remains stalled, but their story offers valuable lessons for aspiring companies in this ever-evolving space. Let's take a moment to dissect the key takeaways from Fisker's situation. The importance of realistic production targets. Setting ambitious goals is crucial, but it's equally important to have a realistic production plan backed by solid market research. Overestimating demand can lead to overproduction and a financial crisis, as Fisker experienced. The competitive EV landscape. The EV market is becoming increasingly crowded, with established automakers and innovative startups vying for consumer attention. A well-defined brand identity, a competitive price point, and cutting-edge technology are all essential to stand out from the pack. Did Fisker differentiate themselves enough to capture a significant market share? The impact of external factors. The global chip shortage is a prime example of how external forces can disrupt even the best laid plans. Fisker's production delays highlight the importance of supply chain resilience and the need to adapt to unforeseen challenges. The future of Fisker. The company's bankruptcy doesn't necessarily spell the end of their electric dreams. The success of their restructuring efforts will depend on their ability to learn from past mistakes, secure funding, and adapt their strategies to the ever-changing EV landscape. This isn't the end of the story, Jerheads. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.